Hey all welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. I am so excited that you guys made it here today. I love drawing with you. So are you guys ready to draw? Awesome, okay, well, our animal today is a very unique animal. I'll give you a few hints. This animal has very orange teeth. It has a broad scaly tail and they like to live in dams. That last one kind of gave it away. You got it. We are drawing a beaver today. Now beavers can make some really cool things and they have some really interesting characteristics. So I'm really excited to get drawing. So let's make sure we have everything that we need. All right, let's make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper out. I'm gonna have myself a sharpened pencil. So I'm ready to do some sketching. And then I need an eraser handy because I'm gonna have to erase that under sketch because I'm gonna outline with a dark pen or a marker. And then at the very end, we are gonna have some fun coloring. All right, so we're gonna start off by drawing the big parts of the body first, making sure that we leave some room over here for the tail. So I'm gonna try to stay somewhere towards the center here. And then I'm gonna try to do a big circle right here. That seems pretty good. So we got the main circle, and then we're gonna put another circle right up here for the head. And we wanna make sure this hump of the back goes up a little bit above the head. So I'm gonna put the circle down just a little bit. Let's put that tail in here so we know where the tail is. That tail goes down here. And it's just gonna be a brrr, like that. Okay, so we got these main shapes. Now we need to connect them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a line right here and kind of bring this, kind of connect that down to there. So this shape's all gonna kind of be one big shape. And I'm gonna kind of merge it into this line. And then on the top, I'm just gonna have this go back and just meet up right about here on the top. And I might just change this a little bit, make that a little bit more rounded, make sure it connects right around there. Because the head of our beaver is not gonna be exactly that shape. It's gonna kinda go down like this. We will follow it to the front, but then it has, we're gonna draw a straight line down here for the front of the mouth and the teeth. So we're gonna cut it off right there with the line that comes down. And then we're gonna go maybe right about here. We're gonna bring it back and we're gonna make the mouth like this. There we go. And I'm gonna take this little part right down here and I'm gonna bring it up to make the mouth. Now, what I probably will do is I'm gonna move this out now that I'm noticing it because I want the front of the mouth to stick out a little bit further, which it does, the top of the mouth, I should say. So I'm gonna bring that out just a little bit further there you go, you see how I do that? I'm gonna bring that out a little bit further or you can bring in that bottom part of the mouth or lip in a little bit. Because I wanna draw, follow this line down, just keep extending it, and we're gonna make that front tooth right there. There we go. And like I was saying, their teeth are really orange and that's just because the protection on their teeth or the enamel has iron in it. So they're really, really strong teeth and it's not just because they don't brush their teeth. All right, now I'm gonna do a little half circle right here for the nose. They kinda of got a bigger nose. There we go. And if you want that to come out, you can make that come out further. It didn't have to just fit the, the shape of the, the face that we already drew. Got that? Okay, now from the top of the nose, we're gonna bring a little curve back. We're gonna kinda of just follow this around like this. We already have the lines, we might as well just connect all the points. There you go, so that's gonna be the front part of their mouth. And then we're gonna draw the eye right here. Draw a big friendly eye. There we go. I think that's big and friendly. The pupil in the middle, I'm looking over at us. There we go. Now they do have little ears over here, so I'm gonna put that in the back, just a, just a little ear. I have it kinda of Let's see, just a little ear back here. I'm not sure how big. I, I kind of want that to be closer to this part. So what I'll do, I can keep moving this. I'll just start at the corner of the ear and connect that circle. We just start with the circle. It doesn't have to be the, the exact final shape when we're doing this sketching. It's just to figure out the main shapes. That's why we do the sketch. Oh, and something really cool about their ears is that they close off so that when they're underwater, water doesn't get in. Isn't that sweet? That and their nose does the same thing and so does their mouth. So when they're carrying branches and wood underneath the water, when their mouth, you would think their mouth is open so water would pour in, but their teeth are in front and their lips are behind and their lips seal off. So that way, no water gets in their mouth. That's a really cool 
cool power. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and put some feet on here. So I'm gonna put the back leg. We're just gonna have it be part of this, this circle here. We're gonna have that back leg come up and be like a C shape. Like that. Big C shape. I got those big back legs. Okay, so now let's do that foot over here. We'll just do a little line over here. And then I'm gonna do just uh, maybe like three little toes here. I think they have more, but we're just gonna add this many just for our drawing. They kind of have more webbed feet because they spend a lot of time in the water. And then we'll draw another one right here on this, in the back side. It's gonna look a little shorter because it's behind their body. It's on the other side. There we go. And I think they have little claws on there too if you wanna add the little claws. But every part of the, the beaver is made for swimming and cutting wood. So it'll gnaw at the wood with those really strong teeth to get a whole bunch of wood and debris and they put it in the rivers and they block off the river so that the water doesn't run very fast and it gets really, really deep. That water gets really deep. That way they can be protected from other predators that are trying to eat them, like wolves, coyotes, bears, even eagles. So they have a little place to hide. Let's figure out the little shorter arms in the front. Let's start at maybe right here. We'll do the top of the arms. So let's do like a little wavy shape right here. Ooh, it's like a backwards S. There we are. Then I'll just come around here. And then we're just gonna go straight down and do a big loop right back here for the back of the arm. What's that? I'll make it a little bit bigger. Big enough? Maybe a little bigger. I can keep adding it. Luckily, we have our erasers, and this is just the sketching phase. Once we get to our, our marker, things become a bit more permanent. Let's add just one more. We'll just copy the same thing. We'll mimic the same thing we did right here in the front. Just have it sit back just a little bit further. And so in that case, if we want to do it so you know where, you can kind of get a better idea of what we're doing, let's erase that front line, and you can see that arm right here in the front. I'm going to add like a little couple little lines right there just to show that it has little hands. What else are we missing? Mm, on the back of the tail. So I said it's scaly. I'm just gonna do a very simple pattern, make it look like it was, make it look like a waffle <laughs> in the back, a little waffle pattern. Shoot, now I'm getting hungry. There you go. Maybe you look up what they actually look like and maybe you can have a different pattern in there. Who knows? So we got a really chunky <laughs> beaver right here. I kind of like it. I kind of like that he's round and, and chunky. I mean, maybe it's okay if they're, if they're chunky. You know, they, speaking of that, they actually store fat in that big tail of theirs. So there's lots of uses for that tail, but that's one of them. So during the winter time when they don't get a lot of food, they can store a lot of fat inside there so they don't go as hungry. All right, so I think I'm ready to make my final outlines. How's yours looking? Oh good, okay, so if you need to pause it, go ahead. Um, otherwise, we're just gonna start right into dropping in our final lines. So I'm gonna go right here, and this is where you can kind of make up your own little lines. You know, I didn't keep that exactly what I drew with the sketch, and that's okay. I'm gonna follow this top line right here on the arm, bring it back. Maybe you wanna make this look a little furrier. Usually they're their fur is slicked back because they're always in the water, but maybe you want to make it look a little furrier because they do have fur. That'd be cool. Yeah, beavers live in what are called colonies. So they have, they live with a bunch of them in like families of beavers. They live all together with inside their dams that they create to block off that water. Isn't that cool? So they all live together, but the way they have to get in there is actually underwater. So the entrance to their to their homes is underwater. So that's why they, you know, they spend a lot of time under there. It keeps them safe, because predators really have a hard time getting in there inside their, their little river homes. And their homes in there are called lodges. They create little lodges. It's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna draw that. I'm gonna round that off. I'm gonna go straight up over here come down and stop right before that ear. Now, if you want to color in your ear now, you can go ahead and do that. But if you want to draw it a different, if you want to color it in a different color, then just leave it like that. I think mine's gonna be black, so I'm just gonna color it in right now. There we go. Cool, now let's get back to the eye. The circles are hard. 
Ooh. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna draw that eye in the middle there. It might have to be a little bit bigger. Just wanna make it look extra friendly by making that pupil extra large. There we go. Oh, and something really cool about their eyes is that they have a transparent, another eyelid that's transparent. So like when we close our eyes, you can't see through them, right? But if they close their eyes, they have one that's like a lens, like goggles they put on. So underwater, they can see really, really well underwater and keep their eyes protected. That is so cool. It's crazy how well their bodies have adapted to do what they do. I think that is so neat. Adapted means like change. And that way it's changed to kind of solve the problems of, you know, what they need to do every day and how they live. And they like to build underwater and that's where they live. So their body is adapted to solve those problems by like closing off their ears and things so water doesn't come in or having that big tail. That big tail is also for, for swimming. It's like a rudder on a boat. It helps them swim through the water. There we go. Got the big old teeth in there. Those teeth never stop growing. Just like we think we were talking about the porcupine. So the teeth never stop growing, so they have to keep chewing on stuff. Same thing with these guys. But luckily for them, they like to chew on wood. So their teeth don't get too long. It just sharpens them. Ooh, there we go. i draw those little toes. Bring that back. And we'll draw this big back leg right here. And connect it. They're looking pretty good. Maybe we'll add a few little little dots on here. Just to show that's where they have whiskers. Now you can add the whiskers if you want. I'm probably not going to, but if you want to, you can. And then let me, you know, I'm gonna fill in this nose here. I want to do a black nose, but I'm gonna kind of fill it in because I want to see the size. Make sure I got the right size on there. I like that nose. And then maybe on the hands there, you want to put something in there. Maybe you want to put a piece of like a branch or a log or something that it's been chewing on. I almost did that, but I kind of want to let you decide what you want to put in there. And then we're going to draw this big old tail on the back. Now this tail is one of the most unique parts of the beaver. Anytime you see this tail, you know it's a beaver. That's why it's important just to make sure you focus on the big, most important characteristics of your animal when you're drawing it work on those first and make sure those are right because then everything else you can kind of play around with and people will still know what it is okay we're gonna draw a little waffle pattern on here so what did we learn about the tail it's great for swimming it stores fat so that during the winter it doesn't have to eat as much or get as hungry but it also one more thing it does is when there's danger around they will slap that on the water and let all the other beavers know that there is a predator around and they need to get out of there. Okay, I think we are done here. Now, if you wanna add a few things, now I might go in here and just add like a little, a few little lines here and there just to show that there's fur. You don't have to do the whole body. You know, sometimes we get a little carried away. You can if you'd like to, but I'm just gonna show that there's fur here. So I'll just kinda of do a few lines every so often in little areas, little patches so that you kind of get the idea that, that there's fur on this, this beaver. All right, now I just need to erase all my pencil under sketch here, and then I'm ready to color. But I'm gonna use markers, you can use whatever you want. You can use paint, you can use crayons or color pencils, whatever you'd like to use. But I'm gonna do that, and then we'll meet up right after. We are done coloring in our beaver, and I figured out a name for mine. I'm gonna name him Ben, Ben the Beaver. Did you already come up with a name for yours? Awesome, well, I think I'm all finished here. I got it all colored in, and uh, I'm really happy with how he turned out. So hopefully you are too, and when we're proud of what we make, we always sign our name on there. That way people know that this is ours. So I'm gonna probably put my name right here in the corner, my little initials right there so everybody knows that I made it and I'm proud of it. 
Hey, well, thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. This has been so much fun. And remember that we do this Monday through Friday every single week. So if you wanna keep doing videos like this, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this specific video, drop it a like. Thank you guys so much. Remember, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.